Hello everyone and welcome to some more mod experimentation in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with JNSQ and Realism Overhaul. I have noticed that Tag Life support does not seem to be working quite right in this particular combination of mods. I wonder if it's Rational Resources which changes things a bit. I, I think I've used Tag Life support with JNSQ before and I've used it with Realism Overhaul before obviously, but Rational Resources I haven't used before. So I think uh, things are a little bit weird. Uh, like the Kerbals don't start out with food, water, and oxygen, which, you know, they probably should when they're in this mode. Uh, so I am going to move life support into them. Okay, hopefully they'll be all right. But what I'm really here to do is talk about this in front of us. I have decided to make a test Mars slash Duna settlement. Uh, this is just something you can visit. It's not something that you build, though. I mean, if you wanted to build it, I... Well, the domes are a little bit hard. Uh, but in general, uh, it is something that you can visit. It's sort of like an anomaly, but not really. It's meant to be something that you already know about. And sort of like another port. And maybe I would add, you know, transforms for a launch pad there. If extra planetary launch pads could work, uh, we would have some sort of facilities there. But for now, it's just something to visit. And it's a Kerbal Constructs Ploppable. And the goal here for me was to make sure that we didn't use too much texture space with it, that it isn't too big a mod. And in this case, it is 80 megabytes right now. So that's textures and mesh. And it comes with the little landscape so that I can make sure that it is flat in the areas we need it flat, and also maybe we'll have some underground bits, which I think any decent Mars settlement would have. Okay, let's be careful. Yeah. Okay, so we have a mesh. It's not going to be a perfect collider, but it's doing pretty well so far. It's clipped into the ground, of course. That's intentional. Uh, so the scale of it, it's about one kilometer by one kilometer. And the ground texture is just one 2k texture. So considering that, it's not too bad. Clay. As you can see, I decided that one logical component of a potential habitat would be leftover starship bits. And as far as the domes are concerned, I sort of insisted that the hexes would be potentially uh, starship, uh, starship friendly, and in other words, they could fit inside Starship. Uh, but, you know, somebody said, well, those will be pretty heavy to launch on Starship, but maybe then just the frames, oops, we spun around. Uh, maybe just the frames would be launched in Starship, and then the glass portions would be made locally, I don't know. Middle airlocks, so we're going to approach one. I haven't taken a look at this, so I'm taking a look at how it looks. So uh, when we see here, uh, this seems a little bit floaty up, and the rota the textures on it sort of rotated wrong, so that's a little bit sad. However, I was trying to keep the texture space low, and so this texture is actually the Starship texture. <laughs> Uh, so I'm reusing textures as much as possible. I don't know, maybe maybe having it oriented like this isn't too bad. Okay, let's have Jeb sort of walk through. Uh, there's no collider on the airlock right now, just to keep things simple. They're human sized, everything's human sized though. I could just, oh, there we go. Um, you can con oh no, still walking. All right, uh, yeah. With Kerbal constructs, we could scale it to Kerbal, Kerbal, you know, Kerbal sized. Oh, I probably need to check the collider on the ground there. Uh, there's sort of a gap there. Yeah, we have to watch out for that. Uh, it's see in Blender and in Unity, I can't really see this sort of gap very well, and it's obvious that the airlock is shifted a little bit to this side instead of where it ought to be. So. Anyway, I'll have to fix that, but that's why it's important to see everything from a Kerbal's point of view, 
to see what might need to be fixed. Now, is this airlock too far forward? Yeah, okay, see? So it's too far forward and a little bit too far down. So I'll keep that in mind. So there's the Starship Tower. I don't know if Textures Unlimited works on Kerbal Constructs parts. I could make it, I could try to make it shiny. Um, yeah, I could try to make it shiny. Right now everything's sort of dull. But this is like a tech demo. Oh, I forgot to remove the pipes. I haven't implemented the pipes. I made some temporary pipes that we could run around all over the place to add some greebling. There's got to be a lot of greebling. And most of it will be mesh additions instead of textures additions. I asked, I did some of this during stream and I asked whether people wanted grass. I decided to be sparing on the grass, but we have a grassy texture at the bottom here. Trees might be a thing. Greenhouses will come. Oh, oh. I don't know why the camera does a whole lot of stuff right there. Ah, uh, there's a little bit of a mismatch there. Really slight mismatch. And looking backwards, slight mismatch there too. Don't know why that happened. I must have nudged... I, I definitely did nudge something the wrong way. So that's why there's all these misalignments. Okay, so we have another hat. This one just has the very top of Starship because uh, full Starship couldn't fit into the small dome. And there could be other tunnels and all that stuff. I didn't make all the apertures, but we can do that. But this whole business is fairly lightweight as far as sceneries are concerned. And it could add to roleplay elements eventually. Oh, this door is misplaced. See, there's all sorts of stuff that I have to work on. But again... I did it rather quickly. I don't I, I don't have any idea how I managed to get that door misplaced when it's supposed to be parented to to the other part of the airlock, right? I mean it's supposed to be part of that, but then it's shifted down. Okay, so that's a tour of the concept right now. And the good thing about it, despite all the little flaws, is that it's not too big. <laughs> that's, that's the goal. The airlock uh, doesn't have any uh, collider on the front of it, but on the sides it does. So the Kerbal can't go like this. The Kerbal also can't go like that. We really don't need Jeb to have the helmet on here. But I guess it was sort of lower visor. Can we use lower visor? Oh no, that's not that one. Okay. No, Jeb still has the breathing sound when I remove the helmet. That is a flaw of some kind. Up slightly off of the surface because of the collider. Nature of the collider is like that. Maybe I can lower the collider a little bit. No, oh, this patch is weird. I don't know if I can remember to check that one. Oh, this, uh, there's a few weird ones here. Okay. I'll have to re-unwrap those. But anyway, there you have it. My little Mars settlement idea. Oh, there's a little seam there. Uh-oh. Yep, yeah, all sorts of little problems. Inevitably, this is a difficult project, but this is day one. It's literally not been more than a day since I started work on it, and I've only spent a few hours, so touch-ups will occur. I have no idea. I think it's just the way the UV unwrapping happened that we've got these little things. I can fix that. I think there's just one portion of this that I forgot to do it with or something. I don't know, there's some. There's a lot of streaky things. Hmm. My technique for trying to make sure that we use the, the texture efficiently is a little bit flawed. Okay, so with that little tour, we'll head back home. Hopefully not spilling over or anything. Oh, it's a little bit jittery. 
And don't worry, I was careful. Uh, the RTG is being blocked by lead weight. It really is full of lead ballast. So, yeah. I'm actually pleased how the collider uh, is on this surface. When you think about it, I mean, it has to be a convex collider, so... It's tough to make one that follows the surface like this. And right at the edge, we see... Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on there. There's the colliders on the thing, but then there's this yellow one that it seems to add. And that's the one that we just sort of glided over and fell off of. And I don't know what I, why that's there, the yellow one. There's all the colliders on the thing. Maybe, maybe there's some artifact or something left over that I had kept and I need to get rid of. Okay, so there you have it. Mars Settlement Alpha, the test of our Mars settlement here at Kerbin. It's sort of like Biodome, but better. <laughs> we, we don't need the Kerbals to stay in there. It's just it's just testing the technologies. It's fine. Oh, uh, we spun around. Okay, so as I try to get these back guys back home, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.